Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm checking out one of the most exciting wallet releases I've seen in a long time, and that is the Dango A10 Adapt Wallet. Let's check it out. All right, so the A10 Adapt Wallet comes in a very familiar Dango tin case. And you can see here on the front, there's no illustration of the wallet. On the very bottom here, you can see Made in the USA, and yes, it's RFID protected. Flip it to the back side, yes, we do have a few illustrations of the A10 Adapt Wallet, but I'm not gonna waste any more time. I know you guys are just as excited as I am, so let's break this bad boy open. All right, so the first thing we see is this little insert showing all the functions and how to use the A10 Adapt Wallet, but I'm gonna go over that pretty thoroughly in this video. So let's put this to the side and here's the reason why all you guys clicked on this video, the brand new Dango A10 Adapt Wallet. And the only other things that come in the case are a thank you card and the very familiar Dango Paracord lanyard. Now this A10 is a brand new release from Dango. It's not just a reskin of one of their already existing wallets. So before I go over what makes this wallet so special, let's talk about some of the features. So the A10 comes in only one color. That's right, this great anodized color you see right here. This frame and the back plate are all made of 6061 anodized aluminum and it features two rail systems. This vertical rail system you see right here and on this side it has a horizontal rail system. Now this vertical rail system here is designed for ID cards or badges, any cards that need scanning. And because it's an open ID window, it's not RFID protected. Now back here with the plate, we have a horizontal rail system as you can see right here, designed to hold four cards and obviously, yeah, this plate is RFID protected. But you do have the option to remove Remove this plate if you want. All you have to do is take out these four stainless steel screws right here. Now if you guys are curious to see what it looks like without this plate, I'm going to take it off a little later on in this video. Now we also have four attachment points, two on the top here and two on the bottom. Now the two on the bottom here, you can either put a lanyard or a tether there. And if you have the dangle neck lanyard, you can make use of the top two attachment points right here. That is if you want to wear this around your neck and display your ID or badge right here. Now in between those attachment points, right dead center, you'll see a little screw hole. Now that's there to make use of Dango's new money clip. Now when I do the card and cash test, I'll show you exactly how this works. All right guys, let's go over dimensions. So the Dango A10 comes in at 4.1 inches by 2.7 inches. And they say it weighs 2.3 ounces on the website, so let's test that. All right, let's drop the A10 on my scale here. And wow, yes, exactly 2.3 ounces and 2.3 ounces. 64 grams. I absolutely love it when a company puts the exact weight on their website. All right, so before I start testing this out and stuffing some cards in here, what makes this wallet so special? Well, it's this vertical rail right here that has a dual function. So not only is this rail a quick release system for whatever ID card that you have in there, but it can also accept Dango's new pocket adapters. That's right, Dango now makes a single pocket adapter and a three pocket bifold adapter specifically for the A10. And as you can see, they're both made of Dango's DTEX material. And if I flip the single pocket adapter around, you can see right here, has the adapter plate on the opposite side. This adapter plate is made of polycarbonate and is made specifically for the Dango A10. And I'll give you guys a nice look at this three pocket bifold right here and the adapter plate is on the inside. The Dango logo is dead center, but you also have an arrow pointing to exactly which way you should insert this into the A10. So let me give you guys a demonstration on the single pocket adapter right here. So the arrow is pointing there. So what we wanna do is line it up correctly and slides right in and there's no tools required at all you can easily just take this in and out just like that so that's the single pocket adapter and let me show you guys the three pocket bifold so just open it up line it up like that click it in and fold it shut. These pocket adapters are one of the most unique features I've seen on a wallet in a long time. And one of the main reasons I was so excited for this release. All right, that's just a quick demonstration on how the A10 works. So let's start stuffing some cards in the main unit. So as a main unit, it can hold a total of five cards, one single card right here in the ID window vertical rail system, and then four cards right here in the horizontal rail underneath this RFID protection plate. So I'll put in two raised number demo cards right here and two flat cards. So let's stick these all into together at once and slide them right in 
There you go. Now I've been using this wallet for the last four days and I'll tell you how I've been using it. I've been using it with this single pocket adapter in the vertical rail and I had three cards in this pocket here and then four under the plate. And I've been putting my most used credit card right here on the top because this little cutout notch makes it extremely easy to get your cards in and out of there. But how easy is it to get your cards out of the middle there? So there's another thumb notch right there on the bottom. Just put your cards all the way up, grab them from the top and now we can just cycle through as so. Now at first I thought it was difficult getting the cars out of the middle here, but that was just because I wasn't pushing the cars up far enough because as you can see, if you only push them up a little bit, it's completely flush with the top of the wallet and there's only a tiny little cutout right there to grab your cards. But if you push them up all the way, you can easily grab your cards out of there. So under this plate was my go-to for my most used cards. Or if you don't care about RFID protection, you can use a single card slot here. And obviously this is super easy and fast to get your card out of there. But what about if you're a cash carrier? Well, Dangle gives you two different options in the A10. So one of those options is right here. I already showed you the optional money clip or the one I like the most right here if you lift up on this single card. It's a little secret compartment right there. So I usually demo this with eight bills folded in the quarters, but there's just not enough room for eight bills in here. So what I found is five bills folded in the quarters. It fits pretty nicely. So fold it in the quarters, stick them in the little secret compartment put your card back over there and then boom. And then if you ever need to access your bills, just slide that card up and then take out your bills. I love this little secret compartment. But if you don't feel comfortable using this little secret compartment here for your bills, let's check out the money clip. So on the very top of the wallet, you're gonna see a little slit there. And that slit is designed to perfectly fit the money clip. So what you wanna do is just line up the money clip there and slide it down into place. Then all you have to do is take one of the included screws, screw it in there and then you have a pretty nice cash carrying solution. So here we go, I have my normal eight bills folded into quarters and just lift up on the money clip here and check that out, it actually works very well. And as always, if you don't wanna use this as a money clip, you can also double as a pocket clip. Either way, I just love the looks of this A10 wallet with this money clip on it, it looks awesome. And I promised earlier that I would show you guys what it looked like with this RFID protection plate off of it. And there you go. So all I did was remove the four stainless steel screws right there, and this is what the A10 looks like without that plate on it. So obviously it is easier to access your cards because all you have to do is fan through it as so. But you just have to be careful on how far you go with this top card because if you go too far, it's just gonna slip out as you can see. And this is a good option if you don't care about RFID protection and just check it out. Look how thin it got. Without this plate on it, this is one of Dangle's thinnest wallets. All right, let's start talking about the A10 Adapt Wallet with the single pocket adapter. I just need to remove the single card from the vertical rail there and slide it in as so. Boom. So as I mentioned before, this is made of Dangle's own Detex material. I do like Detex. It is water resistant and scratch resistant. Now, if you guys do opt for the single pocket version, it adds three cards right here in this pocket. Now this version holds a total of seven cards because remember, this pocket is taking up that one single card spot. Four cards here under the plate and three cards in the pocket. And I've reviewed these Detex pockets before. They work great. Um, I'm not gonna go over it in great detail here because like I said, I've done it a thousand times before. But as you can see, it holds three cards pretty nicely. And accessing these cards in a pocket, super easy, especially if you wanna get just this top one right here. And returning it to the pocket is just as easy. But what about if I wanna get all three cards out? Give a nice little push on that thumb notch right there, pull the top cards out, and then we can fan them pretty easy. And yes, having one of these pocket adapters, you still have that little secret compartment right in the center there. So if you wanna store your cash right under this little pocket, just stick it in there, close it up. And I didn't mention before, this little secret compartment can also hold things like keys or coins. So if you have an extra key, you can stick it right in there, close it up, and yeah, it's gonna make a little noise. But this is still a very cool storage solution if you have a couple little extra things that you need to carry around with you. And now let's talk about the bifold wallet option. So once again, just line up the polycarbonate adapter and slide it in. So each one of these three pockets can hold three cards a piece. All right, so I just loaded up this bifold with another nine cards. So it holds a total of 13, but I always have to show you guys what these wallets look like fully loaded. But what I really like about this bifold is you don't have to carry all these cards in here. So I would keep all my most used cards right here with the pocket with the thumb notch. And I found that this pocket right here on the backside is great for storing your cash. So check it out. So just put your bills right in there as so, and you can carry your cash right on the outside of your bifold. Or if you don't like the idea of storing your cash on the outside of your pocket right there, we still have that 
nifty little storage compartment. I love this thing. And the last option that Dangle offers is the bifold pen wallet. That's right, so if you take a look at the bifold here, we have the spot for the Dangle pen. And then on the inside, it has a spot for the Dangle notes notebook. All right, so this is what it would look like if you guys opt for the bifold pen wallet. So I have the 6061 anodized aluminum pen right there in the pen sleeve. And then I have the Dangle Notes notebook right there on the inside pocket. And then of course you still have room for the three cards in the outside of the pocket there, another three cards on the other side. And then on the inside, you can still stuff your four cards underneath the plate. So in this configuration, you can hold a total of 10 cards, the notebook, and the pen. But my favorite combination by far is just this single pocket A10 wallet. Why do I like it so much? Well, I only carry seven cards and this holds seven cards very nicely. And I've been really big about slimming down my pockets and that's why I really love this A10 because I can take this full unit with me and for whatever reason, I can just remove this, have my most used credit cards right here because I can just store this main unit somewhere safely in my car, glove box, lock it up. And then all I need to carry with me is this super thin minimalist three card card holder right here. And then when I'm done with doing whatever I have to do, come back to its main unit, slap it right in. I mean, Dangle has a winner right here. All right, let's talk about what I like about this wallet. I like the fact that as a base unit, it's super thin. RFID protection under the plate, non-RFID protection in the ID window right here. I think this quick access rail system is phenomenal. Whether it's this vertical rail system or this horizontal rail system. I like the fact that you can add a money clip to the back here. I like that it has multiple attachment points here. And even though it's fully made of aluminum, it's still pretty lightweight at 2.3 ounces. The fact that it's modular and fully customizable to suit your needs is amazing. Whether you need a single pocket, whether you need a bifold, a pen, a notebook, it has you covered. And the fact that you can store bills and keys, coins, whatever you want in this secret compartment, is fantastic. All right, let's talk about what I don't like about the A10. It's a super small complaint and I'm just nitpicking here, but it's the fit and finish on these pocket adapters. So you can see right here, if I get real close to the camera, it moves around and if I shake it, you can hear it just makes a lot of noise. Now I'm really big on fit and finish and I want this to feel like one big solid complete unit, not just a pocket sitting on top of a wallet. So if I did have one suggestion, it would be make these pockets a little tighter to the actual main unit. But like I said, guys, I just had to find something to nitpick about. For as much as this wallet offers the user, that is not a deal breaker by any means. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of Dango's A10 Adapt Wallet? I mean, realistically, I could have made this video an hour long just talking about this wallet, but hopefully I help you guys better understand what this thing's about. I will leave links below in my description box straight to the Dango website if you guys wanna check out the A10 for yourself. The main unit of the A10 Adapt Wallet is 79 bucks. If you decide to go with the A10 Single Pocket Wallet, it's 99 bucks. If you wanna to upgrade to the A10 Bifold, it's 109. And if you decide to go with the A10 Bifold Pen Wallet, it's 139 and I'll have all those links below in my description box as well. Also, I do have a special code just for my subscribers. It's CT10. Enter that code at checkout and you get 10% off your entire order. And no, they are not affiliate links. I don't see a dime if you guys use that code or click the links below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!